didn't run into NYX. And NYX did come out with uh, with one. I think LA Girls came out with one. There's a plenty out there. Smashbox has a um has one, but Smashbox I think it's like forty two dollars. But like forty two dollars. Like that must be amazing. I'm gonna try it one day. I don't know. I'm I'm still a little. However, NYX came out with one. This is a Hydra Touch Touch Dehydration. And it says, formulated with skin-loving ingredients like jojoba and almond oil, which are really good for the skin. This lightweight primer glides on like a dream for a smooth-looking canvas and beautiful coverage. So this is what we're going to be trying out today. This comes, this was $13.99, um, and it comes in a 0.67 fluent ounce bottle. And this is what she looks like right here. Really nice packaging, have no glass bottle and this is what it looks like what i like about it i love the packaging the packaging i love you know the glass i'm here for it very um the packaging is identical to the smashbox primer it's just the smashbox primer is bigger i think that's a 1.0 fluent ounce and this is 0.67 that's the only difference. Well, that's not the only difference. It was thirteen ninety nine, and that one is forty two dollars. Get your life together, okay? You know how great you got to be for forty two dollars, okay? Okay. The packaging is really cute. You open it, and the pop, the top comes up, and as you take it out, the oil is already in the dispenser, and you just press down. And the oil is dispensed. So, I'm in this video, I will be testing this one out as a dry girl myself. I'm always looking to add more moisture and hydration to my skin. Right now, I have to say I am a normal to dry skin. A little bit more on the dry skin side. So, I do go in with a little heavier moisturizer. Really f making sure that I tone my skin. And doing all the necessary steps to make sure my skin stays as hydrated and moisturized as feasibly possible right now because it ain't cold outside it's called outside so i noticed you guys there's so many um dry skin ladies out there that probably will want to adapt this into our skincare regimen over the winter and it is my job it is my duty to let you know if this is worth your money or not so i'm going to put this bad boy to the test and i'm going to apply it and i'm going to wear it for a few hours and i'm going to stop it Okay, so let me just rub this in. And I probably use too much. <laughs> I can pretty much guarantee you I just use too much. I'm going to let that soak into my skin for at least two minutes and I'll be right back. So my face is completely done. And um, so I have to say one out of 10, my face as far as hydration that was added from this is maybe around like a six. Like, I don't feel like it, it feels overly moisturized, but it definitely doesn't feel dry. This is not going to fill pores. This is not going to refine lines. This is not going to do any of that. So it's not going to do any blurring. This is just a primer oil to give you extra hydration that you can apply as a primer. Okay? So that's important to keep in mind here. Do not pick this up and think you're going to get a flawless finish, which is the reason why I use the Pro Filter primer on this side as well because I knew that that other primer should have given me a smoother look refine my pores some and just give me more of a filtered look than this side like I said I do feel like my face has been added some hydration has been added to it but not enough to where I would say this is a must-have what I would say is that if you are an avid um oil applicator you like to add extra oils to your face you're not going to be mad at this it actually smells really good though i feel like the foundation did blend out pretty decently on top of it so it didn't necessarily move the foundation it didn't hinder the foundation especially once i let it soak into my skin but i don't feel like i would use this by itself I would probably, I probably be, would use this more, to be honest with you, on days that I'm not going to be applying makeup. Like if I'm just going to add my moisturizer and I'm going out and I just want an extra little layer of hydration, I would totally go on with this. And you, 
when I say you only need like two drops and just use it for your entire face because and I'm not talking about the full dispenser I'm talking about like two drops and that's it because a little really does go a long way also another time I would use this is if I was going to be applying my full makeup and gonna be outside out the house for an extended amount of time does that make sense just to make sure that I gave my skin a little bit more of that hydration but not necessarily if I'm going to an event and it's only going to be for a little while and I wanted that flawless finish. This is not the primer I would run to, is what I'm trying to say. Not that I wouldn't use it just to add hydration, but it's not necessarily...